What's up, peeps? Thanks for joining me. My name is Damon Warren, and this is Day One Adventures. In today's adventure, we are at the Wilmington Grand Prix. This is the Monkey Hill Time Trials. and I'm the executive director of Urban Bike Project. Okay, and what is the Urban Bike Project? We're a nonprofit community bike shop. We're at 1500 North Walnut Street on the east side of Wilmington. And we provide access to bicycling for youth and adults. We have affordable used bikes for sale, do-it-yourself repairs that are really affordable and different kind of mechanics education. Um, we do social rides and then we have a whole variety of youth programs and ways that youth can get free bikes. We also offer a free bike program for adults who are in need. Oh wow, that's cool. So this is a nonprofit. How long has the Urban Bike Project been around? It's actually been around since 2006. Um, it was really grassroots. It started out of um, the founders, Brian Windle and David Hallberg, their living room. Um, and so it's just slowly grown from there, but we've been in our current location since 2014, so about 10 years. Wow, wow, yeah, and that, that location's actually been building up. It's really nice around yeah. there, and there's an yeah. artist community and everything. Right, a whole new, um, they built an amphitheater back there, so there's Wednesday night concerts every week, yeah. And um, so you're here today at the Wilmington Grand Prix at what they call Monkey Run? Yeah, Monkey Hill. A Monkey Hill. So Monkey Hill is the cobblestones right out here. Okay. Um, and it's a time trial. So it's a 3.2 mile loop through the park, and the finish is up the hill. So the finish line's at the top of the hill. And what we do is a special division called the Commuter Challenge. It's a fundraiser for Urban Bike Project. We all ride our commuter bikes, um, the bikes we used to get to work to carry groceries. And we raise money for Urban Bike Project. The more money we raise, the more weight we carry up the hill. If somebody wants to get in touch and maybe donate, it may maybe make you carry like two thousand pounds. <laughs> How would they contact you? Uh, our website's www.urbanbikeproject.org. If you want to donate or just stop by, help out, anybody can stop by there and just yep. help out. We're open um, six days a week. Um, it's only a couple hours a day because we have different things going on besides our public hours. Um, you can Google us, find out our hours, or go to our website. And we're also always looking for volunteers. So if you're somebody who likes to tinker with bikes and we've got tons of used bikes that need fixing. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time and good luck today. Yeah, thanks so much. <laughs> so that was the Urban Bike Project. That's a really good cause out here at the Monkey Hill. And one of the things that I really like about it, so uh, it's a lot of community that's here for the, for the bike race for the time trials, Monkey Hill. It's like a nice party atmosphere, family friendly. And there's so much going on here. They got a band up on the stage. There's a couple tents out there, people eating. You got the local food trucks and everything. And the people here are volunteers for the racing community. So the, the biking community, let's say. So there's a lot to do here, a lot of fun. If you've never checked it out, I would definitely say check this out. This to me is like the real spring happening. It happens all weekend. You got Friday, you got Saturday, and then you got Sunday. You can check out one of the days. It's completely free and open to everyone. Here we are, Wilmington Grand Prix. It's a little wet out here. So it's gonna be my first year volunteering. It rained, but they do have, they have inflatables here, but with the rain and everything. So um, I don't know what the turnout's gonna look like today, but it is clearing up. I'm here until about five o'clock. Weather's clearing up. Just waiting for them to take me out to the spot where I'm gonna be working today. 
Development Program out of New York City. So I had a fun experience. I learned a lot about the Wilmington Grand Prix. This was the 16th annual one. It was actually called something else before. It is an internationally known cycling event, one of the major ones in the US. And the volunteering was, it, it was really easy. I, I sat there and just made sure people weren't crossing the street when the cyclists were getting ready to go by. I did see a couple accidents. Luckily, none of the riders were seriously hurt. It was just amazing to see how close they rode to each other at those speeds. And this event was not just for the professional riders. There was also a Major Taylor ride, which is open to the public. Major Taylor was one of the famous African-American cyclists, went into the Olympics and it's open to the public so you can ride the course. This year they did change the course a little bit. There were people there cheering and you ring the bells to let the riders know people are cheering for them. So that was day two at the Grand Prix down in downtown Wilmington, Delaware. Day three, it was the Grand Fondue race and uh, that's a ride through the countryside. It's about 62 miles and they go through Winterger and other places through the countryside of Delaware. It was kind of modeled after the Tour de France, but it's a nice relaxing ride. And then at the end of the ride, they have a little party and everything. So all in all, it's a great weekend, lots of fun. I'll put some videos for the other ones that I've, I have attended. Do you like cycling? Have you ever been to one of these cycling events? It, this is one of my favorite things to do in the, in the spring. Hey, hit that like button for me. It helps out the channel a lot. And remember until next time, Take care of each other. Peace out, and I will see you all soon.